Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the exact success formula that I used to generate my first sales with dropshipping and e-commerce. After today's video, you'll be able to create a high converting video ad for any dropshipping or e-commerce product, just like this. So now you've seen the video ad that we will be creating, let's jump into my laptop and show you how to actually do this. So the first thing that you're gonna do is just hit sign up over here and create your free InVideo account and then just click on continue. Now, once you are logged into InVideo, you have three different options for your video dimensions. So you have wide, which would be for something like YouTube ads. You have square, which would be for something like Facebook or Instagram ads. And then you have vertical, which would be for something like Pinterest or Snapchat ads. So for the purpose of the tutorial, we're just gonna go and choose square, but there are thousands of different templates depending on which type of ads you want to run. Now, once you actually go to look for a template, you can just go and use the search bar up here and you can basically just go and search for a word that is related to the niche of your product so if you're selling a fitness product you can just come in here and type in fitness and hit enter then it's going to show you all of the different fitness templates that you can go and use for your video ad so i'm just going to be starting with this template over here so you can go and always watch through the templates to go and give you an idea if that's a template that you want to use so once you have found your template you can go and just choose square and then we are going to go and click use this template over here so now let's just go and wait a few moments for the template to actually load up once the template loads there are going to be three things that we focus on to create this video ad firstly we want to capture the customer's attention with good imagery and good music this could be something like don't miss out on our huge sale or x product is about to sell out for the third time this year next thing we want to go and outline the benefits of the product make sure these are short and to the point for example remove blackheads with ease and finally we want to go and have a strong call to action instructing the customer to go and purchase the product reinforce scarcity with your call to action with something like sell end soon so if we start off with capturing the customer's attention you are firstly going to have to go to uploads and you can go and upload a video of somebody actually using the product now if you are drop shipping a product you can go over to aliexpress find a product video just right click inspect elements and then you can go and download the product Product video that you want to use so once you have your product video we are just going to go and hit upload media over here and you can just go and choose your product video and then just go and hit upload so now it's going to go and upload our footage now the next thing we want to focus on to capture the customer's attention is to make sure that our scenes aren't too long so I recommend that your scenes aren't any longer than five seconds so around five to six seconds so what we are going to do is over here we are just going to go and delete all of these different scenes that we already have so once you click on a scene you can just go and click on this little bin icon and then just go and click on delete scenes so I'm just going to go and delete all of the scenes and then we are just going to be left with one scene so now I've gone and deleted all of the scenes and we are left with this single scene over here now like I said you don't want your scenes to be any longer between five and six seconds because you want to constantly keep the customers attention so over here where we have the scene duration we're just going to go and click on this and we're just going to go and change this to five seconds and then just go and hit the tick button so now that we have done that we are going to go and duplicate that scene a few more times so that then we can can go and show our product in a different way in multiple different scenes so in order to duplicate your scene just go and hit duplicate scene over here and then hit yes now like I said you can go and duplicate it as many times as you need depending on how long your footage is of someone actually using your product so now I have gone and duplicated those scenes five times so I have five different scenes and I'm gonna go and start adding product footage to those different scenes so what you can do is you can just go and drag your footage onto the scene and then you just go and hit replace over here so now we want to go and cut our product footage down so we're just going to go and start with the first first five seconds of this product so over here we can go and start with the zero zero in time and the out time is just going to go and be zero five so we're just going to go and change this to zero five and we just go and change the milliseconds to zero zero and then we're just going to go and hit done so now we have our first scene with this five seconds of footage of somebody actually using the product now the next thing that you are going to want to do is go and add your caption now this is where the benefits come in so when you are adding your captions you want to go and talk about the benefits of your product now you can go and start off with an attention grabber by saying something like the softest onesie in the world is about to sell out 
for the third time this year. So the reason I'm adding that in is because I'm just adding scarcity to the product. So the first caption that the customer sees is that the product is about to sell out. And once again, that just grabs their attention and it adds scarcity to the product. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and drag this out over here. So it does actually just go and fit in. So I'm just gonna drag it up here and I'm just gonna go and delete these images. So you can just click an image and just hit the delete button. Now we can just go and drag this back down over here. We are gonna go and change the font size to 50 like this and just hit enter. So now that fits in there perfectly. Just make sure that you drag it so that it is in the center. So once again, I'm just gonna go and change this to 45, let's say, and now we can just go and drag that. So now we have our first scene. Now what I recommend doing is going and adding your logo to all of your scenes, and that way people can't go and copy your video ads. So if you just go over to logo over here, you can just go and upload your logo. So I'm just gonna go and hit got it over here. You can just go and hit upload logo. So once you have uploaded your logo, now from here, we can actually just go and drag our logo over here where it says logo. And now what we actually can do is we can go and click on add to all scenes. So now it's gonna go and add our logo to all of the scenes for our video ad. So now that we have done that, all you need to do is then make sure that you go and actually turn off any background music that's already in the video unless you actually want that to be in your video ad. So for example, this one over here has some background music already in it. So I'm just gonna go to video edits over here and turn the volume off. And that way I can go and add my own background music to this video. So down over here, we are just gonna go and click on this music. We're gonna go and hit delete, and we're gonna go and pick some other music that is more attention grabbing. If you are enjoying the video so far, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more video creation content. Now, when it comes to picking music for your video ads, I recommend to go and pick music that is actually relevant to the product. So for this type of product, it's kind of a quite chilled out type of product, and it reminds you of being cozy and being comfortable. So we want to go and add some music that's quite chilled. Whereas if you were selling a fitness product, you might want to go and add some music that's more upbeat. So we're just gonna to go to music over here and we are gonna to go to the chill out section because like I said, this is a pretty chilled out product. And then from here, we can go and choose some music. So if you just go and play this one over here, and that sounds pretty chilled out. So we're just gonna go and hit the plus button over here. So now we have gone and added some music. And once again, that's all part of grabbing the customer's attention. So now we have created our first scene with some footage. The next thing we want to do is just go and head to our second scene. And we're gonna go and add some different footage to this scene. So we're gonna go to uploads over here. And from here, I'm just gonna go and drag this footage on and just go and hit replace. So for this footage, once again, I want to go and pick the area where they're actually going and sitting down like this. So it's gonna be a couple actually using the product. So I'm gonna go and start from over here. So we can just go and drag our timeline. And once again, you can just go and round it up. So I'm just gonna go and round this up to seven seconds. And then once again, because we want the scene to be five seconds long, then we can just go and exit it out at 12 seconds. So I'm just gonna go and enter in 12 seconds over here. And once I have gone and entered that in, I'm just gonna go and hit done. So now you can see that this particular footage, it's being cropped out a little bit. So what you can actually do is you can just go and make your footage a little bit bigger like this over here. and you can go and drag it into the center once again like this. So I'm just gonna go and make it a tiny little bit bigger and then I'm just gonna go and drag it into the center. Now for your second scene, you can start introducing some of the benefits. So once again, I'm just gonna go and delete these images over here and I'm just gonna say it is a customer's favorite for three simple reasons. So over here, we're gonna say it is a customer's favorite for three simple reasons and then you're gonna go and start introducing some of your benefits. So firstly, over here, we're just gonna go and drag this out again, and we can just go and center align it. So now we're gonna go to our next scene over here, and once again, you can go and add some footage, so you can go and repeat the process, and this is where you're gonna go and introduce some more benefits. Now over here, the first benefit that I am going to introduce is going to be shockingly soft and incredibly cozy. Now once you have done that, you can just basically alternate your scenes between different footage of people actually using the product. So once again, I'm just gonna go and drag some footage in here, I'm just gonna go and hit replace. And if you remember on this part of the video, originally I started out from zero to five seconds. So now I can just go, and if we just come over here, I'm gonna go and start from around five seconds. So I'm just gonna go and trim this, and we're just gonna go and hit five seconds over here. So zero, zero, and five. And then we're just gonna go and put that for, ten, for five seconds. So we're gonna go and end out at 10 over here. So let's just go and end that out. So once you have trimmed your footage, you can just go and hit done. And basically all you need to do then is just go and continue adding captions that have benefits. And then finally, you can just go and alternate your scenes every five seconds 
with people actually using the product. Now, the final thing that we are going to do is just go and add a call to action to this video ad. And that's just going to go and prompt the customer to go and purchase the product. So in order to add a call to action, we can go to scene over here and we're gonna go and choose from template. Now from here, we are gonna go over here and we are gonna go and type in logo. So basically what you can do is you can have a logo reveal from your store and then you can just go and leave a link to your store underneath that. So I'm just gonna go and choose this template over here and then we're just gonna go and click add scene and then we're just gonna go and click yes over here. Now from here, what you can go is you can go and change the colors of this scene to match the branding of the rest of the video ad and also to match the branding of your store. So I'm just gonna go over here and choose this element. Then we can go to colors and what we can do is we can go and change the colors. So I'm just gonna go and change this to black and white. So that's gonna be these yellow bits over here. They're just gonna be black and white. And then what we can do is we can go to layers over here. We can go to background. We're gonna go to edit. We're gonna go to colors. And once again, we can just go and change the color over here so now you can see that matches the rest of the branding of the video ad now what i'm just doing here is i'm just going to go and click on the logo and i'm just making it a little bit bigger so it stands out more and then i'm just going to go and drag this up we can go and click on the text over here and we can just go and change this to the name of our website so let's just say this was comfyknit.com like this now over here i'm just going to go and hold tab and hit enter and i'm just going to add a caption that once again reinforces the scarcity so i'm just going to go and say get yours now and then we're just gonna say, tab down, sell ends soon. So like I said, once again, you're just reinforcing that scarcity. So what you can do is you can come over to here and you can go and change the font size. So let's go and change it to something like, let's see 60. And if we just drag this out and then we can just go and drag this text box down a little bit and make it into the center. And then we can just go and center align our logo just like this. And now we have our video ad ready and we have our strong call to action prompting the customer to actually go and purchase the product. So then once you have done that, all you need to do is go and hit download and share over here and then we're just gonna go and hit export. Once you have exported your video, you now have a high converting video ad for your dropshipping and e-commerce stores. If you are a dropshipper or an e-commerce store owner and you have found value in this video, then be sure to check out our other video on how to access over 4,000 video templates for completely free that you can go and use for your products and make sure to leave any questions you have about creating a video ad down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel for more video creation content. Give the video a big thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next one.